What's going on everybody? So I'm back here at my stump top and it occurred to me today that I haven't informed any of you why I'm back and really what I'm trying to do here. So take this as a channel update and some real talk. So first let's talk about my channel. It ain't huge and I don't think it's ever going to get really huge. Hey, I almost got 400 subscribers. I'm glad that I do have 400 people that are kind of interested in the same things I am. Makes me feel less alone in the world, let me tell you. But one of the reasons I came back to YouTube and started doing this again was the fact that I have bought a lot of outdoor gear. I've done a lot of stuff in the outdoors. I've tested a lot of gear. Some of it really good, some of it really bad. And I figured why not review a lot of that stuff that I have and try to help people out from making bad choices and buying gear because I think most of the people on my channel here like the outdoors like I do and e there's probably not much worse than spending your hard-earned money on something only to find out it's the biggest piece of junk in the world <laughs> and trust me I've done that a few times myself so that's part of it. I wanted to save other people some trouble here and there. And the other part is going to be the real talk. Now, if you don't want to hear me talk about mortality and death and other things that are a little, a little disturbing for some people to hear, you need to stop the video right now. Okay. If you're still listening, then here's what my world is like. Over the course of two months, I know of one person who committed suicide, another person who died of pneumonia, and yet another person that I kind of laterally knew that I, that was at my work, that, um, got the uh, virus that you're not supposed to talk about online because you'll get in trouble and passed away. Most of my life at a very early age I learned what mortality was. My uncle was killed by his best friend. His best friend was drinking and driving and killed my uncle and I wasn't even a teenager yet. So for me, mortality's always been a fact of life from a very early age. I mean, heck, I could be out there on the road driving to work, the supermarket, whatever, and I could have an accident and that's the end of me. You know? And that's true of any of us. None of us like to think of that. But, like I said, in these last two months, so many people around me shedding their mortal coil kind of got me thinking. I'm like, the only thing in life that is guaranteed is your life will end one day. I don't know when, and I wouldn't want to know when one. <laughs> certainly wouldn't want to know when mine's going to end. But it will end someday. And I do have knowledge in my head, experience. And I think something like YouTube is the best way to try to pass as much of that on as possible. Because someday I will not be here and I will not be coming back. So that's my whole motivation in a nutshell. And I thought 
I would share that with all of you so you would understand what's going on here I didn't turn into a gear review channel it's just hey this is the stuff I use I like it this is why I like it here's what you can do with it that's how I'm approaching it or hey I bought this and it's the biggest piece of junk ever so with that in mind that's where we're going that's what I'm about I don't have time for nonsense or games in fact I have quit pretty much all social media people can get a hold of me it's not hard to find me and get a hold of me but uh, I'm not out here for games I don't have time for it and I don't have the patience for it so anyway one of the updates also on the channel is I managed to get my computer running correctly I had an issue with the video card that's why my last few videos were such a small resolution I was having issues with the video card well that's fixed now going forward from this video forward everything is going to be at least 720p not great but not terrible either I got an old camera unless somebody out there wants to buy me a brand new camera <laughs> we're going to be stuck with 720p for a while so anyway one of the things I wanted to do is the woodsman wedgie from my last review I just wanted to give you a better look at it in 720p and I understand not everybody's into tools and stuff like I am but I gotta love a well-made a well machined tool and look at that edge it's just perfect and you saw me split that black walnut <laughs> and that black walnut is not easy to split let me tell you so anyway that's really what I wanted to say to everybody I'm gonna cut this off now so if anybody has anything they want my opinion on gear wise hey hit me up hit me up in the comments I might not get to back to you right away but I will get back to you because I'm back here on YouTube now so until then I'll see y'all later